When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. When he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel.
We caught this man trying to get our people to riot and to stop paying taxes to the emperor. He also claimed that he is the Messiah, our king. Pilate asked Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? Those are your words, Jesus answered. Pilate told the chief priests in the crowd, I don't find him guilty of anything. But they all kept on saying, he has been teaching and causing trouble all over Judea. He started in Galilee and has now come all the way here. The high priest stood up in the council and asked Jesus, why don't you say something in your own defense? Don't you hear the charges they are making against you? But Jesus kept quiet and did not say a word. The high priest asked him another question. Are you the Messiah, the son of the glorious God? Yes, I am, Jesus answered. Soon you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right side of God, all powerful and coming with the clouds of heaven. At once, the high priest ripped his robe apart and shouted, Why do we need more witnesses? You heard him claim to be God. What is your decision? They all agreed that he should be put to death. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Jesus and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it, tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thy own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. My kingdom is not from hence. And Pilate went out again unto the Jews and said to them, I find in him no fault at all, but ye have a custom that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will you therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. And Pilate, when he called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me, as one that pervereth the people, and behold, I am, and having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof ye accuse. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas, who for certain sedition made in the city, and for murder was cast into prison. Pilate therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. But they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him.
therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and put on him a purple robe, and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that he may know that I find no fault in him. Then came forth Jesus, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of the skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. But weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, come.
faithfulness and preparation through the week to bring you back to the time of joy. Go in the confidence of the blessing of God, creator, Christ, and Spirit. Amen.